Hi, I'm Aaron from Showmark, and I'm going to show your wire being wound on a unispooler. So as it turns out, during setup, we already did wind your supply spool onto a spool we had in-house. It's the same spool, and if you come over here, you can see the quality of the wind we got with that first cycle. So we're going to rewind it back onto your spool, and you'll be able to see that happening in real time. In the meantime, I did want to point out the features on the machine and also mention that this is a basic unispooler. Please note that this is not a production model. This is a machine we have in-house that was sort of cobbled together from leftover parts of other machines, but it does a good job and it's perfectly fine for doing a demonstration like this one. That being said, we just so happen to have another unispooler we just finished for another order. So let's take a small glimpse at that so you can see what a more production quality model machine looks like that's actually going to a customer. Right off the bat, you can tell the fit and finish of everything is way better. This one has a safety enclosure on it, and this meets CE requirements. It's guarded, as well as electrically interlocked, so it will not wind when the guard is up. In addition to that feature, this one has a closed-loop electronic brake on the payoff, and here on the control panel are the controls for adjusting that. We also have a length counter and our normal speed and auto manual switch, which is on any machine. We also have on here a wire brake sensor, which will stop automatically if the material either breaks or runs out. And on our take-up section, we have an extended 18-inch long traverse unit. Anyways, back to the demonstration. So before we start winding, I'll point out the features on this machine. This is just a base unispooler, but it does come with tension control on the payoff. This is just a magnetic brake, and you adjust the tension simply by loosening it and turning the body to whatever setting you want. And we're winding with very low tension here, probably about 25 or 30 grams of pull for that setting. We also measure the length by monitoring the rotations of this wheel right here. And we're looking at the rotations with a 5mm resolution in account. So there's actually marks on the back of that wheel, and it's counting 40 counts per rotation of that wheel. And that will be reflected on our counter over here. The machines measure length on a standard model of 0.6% accuracy. We also have an option for up to 0.06% accuracy. When we run, we can choose to run in either auto or manual mode. In auto mode, we'll use the number down here as our target length, which is currently set to 120 meters. The machine will stop automatically at this target length. In manual mode, it'll run indefinitely until the operator turns the speed down to zero. We'll be using auto mode for this run. The material will run over up across our traverse unit, and this will lay it nice and evenly onto the new spool. You can adjust the spacing of the winding with the pitch dial on the side of the carriage of the traverse, and you can also set turnaround points with these knobs that will correspond to the flanges of your spool. So let's just give it some speed. The machine can run up to 400 RPM of the take-up with a standard motor. We're probably doing about 120 or so right here, and if you come around you can see our counter measuring the length and it will stop at the 120. So you can hear and see the traverse turned around at the flange. It's currently at 65 meters, so we're about halfway there. Now we're at 80 meters. Just about to hit 100 meters. One fifteen. And there you go. Hit your 120 and stopped automatically, nice and smooth. And you're seeing a little overshoot there, which it'll always do. It'll always overshoot the same amount at a given speed. So in this case, if you wanted to stop at exactly 120, you would subtract 0.95 meters from that and set your number there. So in a case like this, you'd set it to 119.05 to stop it exactly at 120. It's very repeatable that way. So that's it. Hope that looked good to you.